good evening friends uh, today we will see another example of c programming pattern printing now this program actually looks a bit difficult but then it is very easy so the logic is so simple uh, i would request you to try it out on yourself first uh, eventually we are going to discuss the logic now so uh, let's see in this question we have to print this pattern now if you can see what is this pattern now there is one then there is zero then one then one zero one then again it is starting with zero then again it is starting with one so how to tell to the computer that print this uh, first row with one then second row you start with zero and then alternate the bits and then third row you start with one and then zero then one so it's actually very easy we don't need to tell the computer like that if you see clearly it is just uh, a mod mod operator we can use that operator and we can easily print this program some of you might have guessed it by now so actually it is like this mod operator is it returns the remainder so for example if any 5 mod 2 okay so if there is an integer 5 and we like divide it by 2 5 mod 2 means it will give the remainder when you divide 5 by 2 the remainder is 1 so it will return the remainder so we can easily print like uh, the pattern this pattern in the similar way we we'll start writing the program and we will trace out the logic accordingly so it's hash include So here we start the main function. Now okay, before starting the for loop, okay, we need two loops as you know. This is a two-dimensional triangle which we need to print. One there will be i loop which will take care of the number of rows. Exactly how many rows we have to print, it will be given by the user. If user types the value of n as 4, we will print 4 rows and 4 rows will contain a pattern like this if the user gives n as 5 it will print 5 rows the 5th row will be somewhat like 0 1 0 1 0 1 like this so uh, i there will be two loops one will be the i loop and other will be the j loop the i loop will take care of the number of rows so it will go vertically downwards it will count exactly how many rows we have to print and there will be another loop which is j loop it will travel horizontally like this and it this j loop will take care of how many elements we have to print in one row at one particular value of i how many elements we have to print that will be taken care by j that's all the work of j loop so before starting the i loop we will initialize the variables which we need so we need actually in this question three variables that's all and now we will ask the user to provide the input to provide how many rows he wants to print so we will write printf enter number of rows and we will take that input and store it in n now what we will do is we will start the i loop which will take care of the number of rows now we will start the j loop The logic actually comes inside the j loop i loop is simple it is going from 1 to n because there are n rows but then the j loop this will do the actual printing 
now see j loop has to print how many elements that it is going from i to 1 obviously if the value of i at third row will be 3 so it will go from i to 1 which means 3 to 1 which means 3 elements so it has to print 3 elements the value of i at fourth row is 4 so it will go from i to 1 so it will go from 4 to 1 that means 4 elements but how to print it 0 1 0 1 okay how to find out that logic i told you here we will use a mod function so we will use we will write printf percentage t j mod 2 now this okay i'll just tell you what we have done here but before after closing the j loop and before uh, closing the i loop we need to bring the cursor to the next line so before the i loop gets iterated i plus plus we will write printf backslash n and then return 0 and here we go close our main function so i will just explain you what we have done in this j loop the j loop itself is very easy see here for example the value of i will be 3 so suppose this is the question so at this point of time i'm sorry suppose this is the question now at this point of time the value of i will be 3 so now we have to print 101 so we will start j in such a manner that it starts from 3 j equal to i j greater than equal to 1 and j minus minus means it will decrement from here it will be 3 here it will be 2 here it will be 1 and simply we will divide it by 2 so we will print percentage d j mod 2 so whatever is the value of j we will divide it by 2 and we will print it here so first time the j will be equal to i which is 3 3 divided by 2 the remainder is 1 so it will print 1 here next time it will be j minus minus so 3 minus minus is 2 2 divided by 2 the remainder is 0 so it will print 0 here next time it will be 1 and 1 divided by 2 is 1 the remainder so it will print 1 here so accordingly it will print the program and after each line we have to given slash n so it will come to the next line so i will just take a simple example suppose user has entered the value of n as 3 so what will happen is first the i loop will start so i loop it will start from 1 is 1 less than equal to is 1 less than equal to 3 condition is true so it will come inside the j loop again j loop will start now j equal to i j equal to i means j equal to 1 is j greater than equal to 1 is 1 greater than equal to 1 which is true if it is true it will come inside it will come inside this loop now it will print percentage d j mod 2 it will print 1 mod 2 the remainder is 1 so it will print 1 on the computer screen next time what it will happen after printing this before closing the j loop it will go back here and it will decrement the value of j it will be j minus minus which is 0 now it will check again is 0 greater than equal to 1 which is false so it will come out of this j loop it will encounter this printf statement where it is written printf backslash n so backslash n what it will do is it will just take the cursor to the next line now here the i loop closes so before closing this i loop okay it will take this cursor it will increment the value of i so before closing this i loop it will just increment the value of i now i will become 2 now it will check is 2 greater less, th less than equal to 1 is 2 less than equal to 3 which is true it will go inside again now it will be j equal to i so j will be initialized to 2 now it will check is j greater than equal to 1 is 2 greater than equal to 1 which is true it will go inside print a percentage d j mod 2 so now currently the value of j is 2 so 2 mod 2 the remainder is 0 so it will simply print 0 here and the cursor will come here now next time what it will do is here the j loop closes so before closing it it will go back to this and it will decrement the value of j which is 1 and after this decrementing it will again check for the condition is j greater than equal to y is 1 greater than equal to 1 which is true again it will go inside print f j mod 2 j mod 2 means correctly the value of j is 1 so 1 mod 2 the remainder will be 1 so it will print 1 here the cursor will come here 
again it will decrement the value of j now j will become 0 so it will again check is 0 greater than equal to 1 false the condition becomes false now so it will come out of the j2 it will encounter this printf backslash n and it will take the cursor here again after print encountering this statement it will go and increment the value of i the value of i will become 3 now again it will go inside to check for the condition first is i less than equal to n is 3 less than equal to 3 which is true it will go inside it will again reinitialize the value of j to 3 and again it will print accordingly it will do 3 2 1 and then again it will do the mod so here it will be 1 0 1 so for n equal to 3 it will print 3 rows accordingly so this program prints this pattern according to the user's wish you can think of other logics as well this is not the only logic for this program i have used this logic to explain you how the flow goes and how the output is printed on the screen okay guys i hope you understood this question uh, if you have any doubts you can comment on this video and i'll try to clear all your doubts okay and uh, thanks for watching have a good day